Hello, my name is Tanya Meyer. I am the Support Services Manager at S&P USA. Today we will be covering the basics of S&P's fan selection software, Opticizer 2. When you arrive to Opticizer.com, this is the screen that you will see. You can request a username, use the password recovery, or log in with your unique username and password. Please note, your username is not your email address. This is a common mistake. If you have misplaced your password or username, you can easily reset your password using the password recovery feature. To use this feature, enter the email that your account was set up under. If you have not logged into the account in the last six months, your account will automatically be locked out due to inactivity. Contact us with any issue. Once logged in on our home screen, you will see it's broken up into two columns. Our important announcements section will have any company news, product launches, and new marketing news located here for quick reference. On our left side, we have provided the most frequently used quick links. The most important section is pricing. This is one of the many ways to receive our price book or Excel price sheet. Now to begin, we will be reviewing the top toolbar. Hovering over each section, a dropdown will appear. Let's begin under Help. Here you will find the user manual, Opticizer 2 frequently asked questions, and the Contact Us. Clicking on Contact Us, you will see our 800 number as well as our fax number. If you're looking for assistance with Opticizer 2, there is a quick link for marketing easily available for you. If you're looking for technical support for quotes, crossing, and just technical knowledge on our products, please click on the technical support link. For pricing, multipliers, order processing, order status, please feel free to contact our support services department by clicking on this link. Below you will see hours of operations and our quick ship hours for all of our quick ship products. Now under the administration section, you will see the dropdown for update account information, change password, set preferences, and default user sharing. In the update account information, this is where you would update your email address, your phone number, or if you've changed to another location, and then you would hit your save user info, and that will automatically update your information in the system. Uh, as we reviewed earlier, change password, this is where if you feel your password has been compromised, you would change that there, easily available to you immediately within 24 hours. The next dropdown is the set preferences. Take note that this is a standard setting. If you prefer to change the information for your location, feel free to do so at Liberty. Also take note, you can do the dropdown section and that will show all of your competitor's information if you'd like to do crossing for projects. And just hit set preferences and that will update and store all of your updates. Now moving on to the default user sharing status. On this location, it is very important to go ahead and give full access to the support services team. And the way that you will do that is you will highlight the name of the support services person, go to the drop down, and either choose no access, read access, full access, and in this case, we're going to give them full access, and then hit the update sharing status. And as you can see, the full access has been granted. This is important because you will give access to the team to easily update any project with multiplier information or updating it with fan information. So please let this be the first thing we do once you are given your Opticizer sign-in. 
Now from here, we will move on to orders. Hovering over, you'll see lead times, open orders, shipped orders, and order tracking. Going into open orders, you will find information about your most current orders that are processing at this time. You'll find information on your purchase order, the date that it was ordered, and the date that it will ship. Next, we'll go into shipped orders. This is my favorite portion because under here you will find the date that it shipped as well as our internal order number. You will find your personal purchase order number, the location of where it was shipping to, and more importantly, the information of how it shipped. For this top order, you will see that it shipped Averett and it has the pro number information there. Then you will see on the far right, the invoice information. I get a lot of calls in regards to our invoice and this is where you can find it at any time when we are closed. You just click on that link and it will take you to a pop-up and that will give you the information for the order itself, readily available to you at any time. Moving on to the products section, is a breakdown of our product information that you would typically find in the catalog, including submittals, IOM, and standard performance data. It is broken down into categories for you to easily locate what you need. As you can see, we also provide information on our discontinued products. That way, if you need a part that needs replacement on a current fan, you can easily access that information at any time. Now under the project management section is where all of your projects are stored. It is saved on our cloud so you do not have to worry about accessing them when you are offline. Customer dropdown is a quick safe tool for your most used customers. We are recommending you set up all of your customers under here as if it's a little black book and you are able to access their information whenever you are creating projects for them. Now under the project section you can manage, delete, and copy all of the projects that you have created within Optisizer.